um, I'm gonna do just one style, just, you know, what I would wear on a normal day, um, hair, makeup, and an outfit. And before I do this, let me say that I am in no way in any type, shape, or form any kind of makeup artist. I barely wear it. I mostly wear it in the winter because I'm paler and I just, you know, I like to look like I'm alive a little bit. But other than that, um, you know, it's so much so that I don't even know how I'm really going to record this and show you, but I'm going to do my best. Just because it was requested by enough to do a video. So, here goes. So my hair, this is my first braid out after cutting all my relaxed ends off. So I'm just going to take all this out. And this is just the coconut oil and uh, shea butter mix. So I'm going to take all this out and I'll be right back. Okay, now this is it. I just started to fluff it up, but I figured let me show how I do this. See how it's really flat when you first take out a braid out? What you want to do is take your fingers, go right to your root, and just kind of massage. Be careful to not disturb the rest of the uh, strand so that your hair doesn't frizz up. You're just kind of lifting your root so that you get more volume. So now, what you want to do, or what I do, is I take apart the pieces, like I did in my other video, just to uh, make it look fuller, you know? You don't want it to all look too sideshow bobbish, <laughs> which I get called all the time anyway, it doesn't matter. And don't mind me, I'm extra shiny, I'm sure, because it's hot as hell in here, and I'm sweating. I'm trying to hurry up so I could get out. This is what it looks like. Fluffed up to the point that I'm going to do it. Because over the f next few days it will get bigger on its own. And this is good for now. You don't want to make it too frizzy. Now, the first thing I would normally do if it was um, winter and I didn't have a tan. But I'll do it now too. Anyway, just for the purpose of this video. I use this bronzer. Uh, Maybelline Mineral Power. Not even powder. I just realized that. Bronzer. Um... Shimmer Loose Powder, blah, 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 with micro minerals, da, da, da. It is called Sunrise Bronze. Looks like that. And I take this. Now, what you want to do, you see how it's like, it's a powder. So I close it up and I shake it so that the powder comes out of those little squares. Now, you got to be careful with this. My mother really hates it because it goes on kind of smeary because it's, I don't know, this mineral stuff is like, potent <laughs> so take a powder brush and dip it in now what you want to do is kind of pat it and then shake it off and just make sure that it's kind of covered alright so now since we are being careful and since I'm sweating <laughs> but this will help to hide the shine so you're going to pat it on both sides and then kind of brush back now the way many people do this is they just put it kind of like on the cheeks and the nose and you know those spots but because in the winter and when I don't have a tan I want it to look like you know I have one I do it lightly all over so I don't use foundation because I feel like foundation never works out really on my skin unless it's, I'm going out somewhere and it's like dark you know but even then, on pictures, foundation, I don't know. I don't feel the need for it. If you have a lot of blemishes, then go for it. But, you know, not me. So it's really all it's that simple. I take a little more. Pat it off. And then I like to go down my neck to just match it. And right now, it's not it's not a big difference. But in the, uh, the winter, it would be. Because when I don't have a tan, I am extra pale. So that's that. So next, what I'll do is my eyeshadow. Now, most of the stuff I use is Avon. I don't have expensive um, makeup. I don't shop at MAC, really. Even though I do want to get a nice lipstick from there. But other than that, freaking Avon, right? So this is Avon's 8-in-1 um, eye palette neutral tones. It looks like this. So, um, normally I don't really do eyeshadow, but if I'm going to, you know, like on a normal day, probably not. But if I wanted to just jazz up whatever I'm doing just a little bit, 
then I'll do this. I take, um, and sometimes I use these ones, but most of the time I use this little, I guess this is a flat brush. And I'll dip it in the lightest one first. And just go over just a little of my eye. Not really up into the brow bone. And kind of pat it in. And then I bring it down to the middle there. Just kind of give that the little piece of flair. And then I don't worry about it getting all out here because I put the darker color out here. So that's that. Same thing on the other side. Now, what I will do is I'll go into this shimmery, tan, pearl looking color. Tap that in there. And then I'll start a third in from the eye. And I just kind of put that. And I work my way out. So I layer my colors going this way. Same thing on the other side. Next, I use about three to four colors total. Um, I'm going to stop at three today, but if it was nighttime, I would put a darker color on the outside. But it's, you know, it's daytime, so. Then I go into this tan orange color. Dip that. And go just on the bottom. And I bring the orange to where I started the second color, but only on the bottom. I don't bring it up anywhere. So, just like that. And I apologize. I have no idea how to explain this because makeup is not. I barely wear it. Even in the videos that I make, I really never have eyeshadow on. But I do wear it every now and then. So, I might as well show you what I do when I do it. Alright, and then... I take it and I kind of make that V on the outside and then just kind of fade out. So next, eyeliner. Again, it's Avon. Perfect Wear Eye Writer Liquid Eyeliner. Now this on that, I got to get really close to this mirror, so I'll come back and I'll show you. Okay. So what I did was I took it and I went... Again, from when I started that second color, I didn't go all the way in, just there, and brought it out. And then, for the bottom, I take, you know, any uh, black eye pencil will work. This is wet and wild, this one sucks, but it's all I have right now, so here we go. And I just put it, you know, right in your waterline area. Again, I gotta get close, so I'll come back and show you. Okay, now for this, depending on how I feel, I'll bring it all the way in, but most of the time I just kind of do the out part, the outside part, to make more of like a cat eye. And I won't bring it all the way across, I'll bring it a third of the way in to my eye. There. Now, I have pretty long eyelashes, um, but recently I started wearing mascara because my mom bought the uh, voluminous million lashes I love this mascara like for me to put it on I feel like it makes me look like I have fake lashes so I don't even need to go buy those things but um it's mascara you know how to do that come back and I'll show you okay that's the mascara I hope you can see this if not I'm definitely posting pictures at the end so next is the lips now I have two favorite um, things that I do on my lips, and it used to be this, this is, I freaking came off, but I wrote it down, L'Oreal Infallible Lip Gloss, this is 805, um, Sweet, it's the closest to nude that I could get from me, and this, it says it lasts six hours, and it really does, if you're not doing too much, like, I mean, if you're freaking drinking every two seconds, then it'll eventually come off a little sooner, but I mean, if you're, like, at work, or anything else, it really will last that long, so all you need and I got this at Rite Aid, I'm sure you can find it at Walgreens, any kind of drugstore it's like like 10 or 11 dollars I think though but because it lasts so long and you don't have to keep reapplying, it's worth it because it's not running out um so 
So that's that look. Um, and in the summer when I'm sweating and I'm shiny like this, I really don't like to do the lip gloss thing too much because it just kind of adds to the fact that my face looks like a grease ball. So I'll show you my other alternative. This is Maybelline Color Sensational Pearl Lip Color. Um, this is 735 Champagne Shimmer. This is the same exact color as my lips. Apparently it adds a little shine. I had another one called Sparkling Sand or So Pearly. It was one of the other two and that one came out a nice like pink. But I wanted to try a different one and I'm so mad because this is my chapstick. So at this point, for this color that I'm going to do, any chapstick will do. And then this, this is really friggin' cheap. You can see it's like all messed up and I don't have enough, a lot left. But this was like $2. This is Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick 901B called Think Pink. But I love the way this color comes out. It doesn't stay long. You'll be reapplying throughout the day. But it comes out such a pretty. And this is how I put it on because it's like, it's just too much, the color. Unless it's like I'm going to a club, then I'll put it on normal because then I like it to pop. But for the day, I want a subtle look. I want to look like a clown. And that is it. So, minus the excessive sweat and shine, this is more or less the um the look that I normally have for you know just whatever, just the day to just be hanging out. Um, if I'm going to the mall or to the movies or to a picnic or whatever, most of the days if I'm not doing anything, I'm just going to work. If I'm just really going to the store or anything like that. All I'll have on, if I have on, is some kind of lip and maybe eyeliner. But if I want to jazz it up, this is it. So, now we're going to accessorize and I'm show outfit. Okay, so, as many of you should know by now, I am pretty much in love with gold hoops. Any kind of gold hoops. These are my gold hoops that I'm wearing at the moment. These were like $2 from Forever 21. Um, but for this outfit... I'm not going to do that. These are also from Forever 21. I got them last year. They must have been about 3 or $4. Um, but anything that's kind of dangling and big, and I love gold, but feel free to do silver or whatever. This is just my outfit. And I've had these on in another video, I'm sure. Bangles. Any kind of bangles will do. These didn't even come together. They came in separate sets. Um, I believe both were from Forever 21. This might have been from Burlington Coat Factory. I don't know. But that's what's going on there. And I don't really have any rings at the moment, but I don't feel rings are actually completely necessary. So anyway, this top is from Forever 21, your basic tank. I got this from Burlington Colt Factory, but it's originally from Steve Madden. I don't even think it belonged to this store because it didn't have a price on it and I had to wait like 15 minutes and I would not leave because I wanted it. And I got it for like $12, I think, maybe 13 I don't know. But it's just like, it's really pretty vest that, uh, see how it comes there. And it's like, you know, cut square, but when it falls, I'll show you in a mirror. It falls like that. So these, um, this is just a thin brown belt from, or actually camel, H&M, about $5. These are Levi's jeans that I had, they were uh, originally straight, you know, skinny jeans, but they weren't so skinny on me, they were kind of big, so I cut them uh, recently into long shorts and just kind of rolled them up to give them that boyfriend look or whatever, and then the sandals are basic, these are from Forever 21, they were like $7, little gladiators, they're brown, and that is about it. So, I hope you enjoyed that. This is a look that I would wear um, on a normal day. I have worn this already, actually. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.